Hi guys, good morning to all. This is a new session on bioinformatics. In this lesson we will study multiple sequence alignment, methods and practice. Multiple sequence alignment is most powerful tool to predict phylogenic study. So, in this video, I will teach you the most reliable method of multiple sequence alignment to deduct a solid phylogenetic tree. So let us start. Let us look at some definitions related with multiple sequence alignment. What is actually multiple sequence alignment? It is generally the alignment of three or more biological sequences that is protein or nucleic acid of similar length. From the output, homology can be inferred in the evolutionary relationships between the sequences can be studied. Another term most commonly come is the pairwise alignment or PSA. PSA tools are used to identify regions of similarity that may indicate functional, structural and or evolutionary relationships between two biological sequences. This is an example for MSA, here four sequences are considered. The sequences are rearranged to get maximum alignment. During the arrangement some sequences are shifted forward or backward. But, in the pairwise alignment, the exact pairing of bases are done according to Chargaff-S rule. Those bases are not able to align or left as such. What indicate the non-alignment that will explain in the following lecture? Let us see the processing scores to align sequences. Scoring process is the base of sequence alignment. Here, two sequences are given a score on how similar or different they are to each other. The pairwise sequence aligning algorithms require a scoring matrix to keep track of the scores assigned. The scoring matrix assigns a positive score for a match and a penalty for a mismatch. Three basic aspects are considered when assigning scores. 1. Match value, value assigned for matching characters. 2. Mismatch value, value assigned for mismatching characters. 3. Gap penalty, value assigned for spaces. Then, we can see how to identify match, mismatch and possible gap. See the following diagram. The first character of the two sequences is a match as both are letter A. Second character of the first sequence is C and that of the second sequence is T. So, it is mismatch. A space is introduced at the end of the second sequence to match with G. This space is known as a gap. A gap is the maximal contiguous run of spaces in a single sequence within a given alignment. In general, a gap is expressed as a gap penalty function, which is a function that measures the cost of a gap as a possibly nonlinear function of its length. Now, we can see types of pairwise alignments. 1. Global alignment. This method finds the best alignment over the entire lengths of the two sequences. What is the maximum similarity between sequence X and Y? 2. Local alignment. This method finds the most similar subsequences among the two sequences. What is the maximum similarity between a subsequence of X and a subsequence of Y? Let us move to global alignment. In this method, we consider the entire length of the two sequences and try to match them to obtain the best alignment. It is obtained by inserting gaps or spaces to X and Y until the length of the two sequences will be the same so that the two sequences are matched. For example, consider the sequences X equals A, C, G, C, T. G, A, T, and Y equals C, A, G, C, T, A, T. One possible global alignment is given below. A, gap, C, match, gap, to A, G, match, C, match, T, gap, G, mismatch, A, 
match, T, match. Not that, we have included gaps, so that the strings are, aligned. If we set a scoring scheme, as match score equals 1, mismatch score equals 0, and gap penalty equals 0, then the overall score, for the above alignment will be. Score equal 2, N match multiplied by, 1 plus, N mismatch multiplied by 0, plus, N gap multiplied by 0, equals 5, multiplied by 1, plus 1, multiplied by 0, plus 2 multiplied by, 0, equals 5. We can see now, needleman wunsch algorithm. One of the algorithms that uses dynamic programming to obtain global alignment is the needleman wunsch algorithm. This algorithm was published by Needleman and Wunsch in 1970 for alignment of two protein sequences, and it was the first application of dynamic programming to biological sequence analysis. The Needleman Wunsch algorithm finds the best scoring global alignment between two sequences. Now we can see local alignment. In this method, we consider subsequences within each of the two sequences and try to match them to obtain the best alignment. For example, consider two sequences as x equals g, g, t, c, t, g, a, t, g, and y equals a, 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 c, g, a, t, c. Characters in bold are the subsequences to be considered. The best local alignment is C match with C. T has no match, so a gap. G match with G. A match with A. T match with T. Here, one gap is introduced to match the two subsequences. So, score equals N match multiplied by 1 plus N mismatch multiplied by 0 plus N gap multiplied by 0 equals 4, multiplied by 1 plus 0, multiplied by 0 plus 1 multiplied by 0 equals 4. Let us examine Smith-Waterman algorithm. One of the algorithms that uses dynamic programming to obtain local alignments within Two given sequences is the Smith Waterman algorithm. Smith and Waterman published an application of dynamic programming to find the optimal local alignments in 1981. This algorithm is similar to Needleman Wunsch algorithm, but there are slight differences with the scoring process. Now we move to multiple sequence alignment. In multiple sequence alignment, or MSA, we try to align three or more related sequences so as to achieve maximal matching between them. The goal of MSA is to arrange a set of sequences in such a way that as many characters from each sequence are matched according to some scoring function. For example, the MSA is shown in the following five sequences, study it careful. Matches are shown as cross-line, gap is left as free, mismatches are also visible. Let us see the scoring process in MSA. The scoring process of MSA is based on the sum of the scores of all possible pairs of sequences in the multiple alignment according to some scoring matrix. Score of multiple alignment is equal to summation of whole of score A and B, where whole score of A and B is equal to pairwise alignment scores of A and B. For example, sum of pairs of sequences 1, 2 and 3 is minus 1, plus 1 and plus 6, equal to 6. Sum of the second column is equal to sum of score K and R, plus sum of score R and H, plus sum of score K and H, that is equal to 2 plus 0 plus minus 1 equal to 1. That means the goal of MSA is to 
achieve the maximum sum of pairs. Now, we can analysis various types of multiple sequence alignment. Aligning three or more sequences can be difficult and are almost always time consuming to align manually. Hence, computational algorithms are used to produce and analyze these alignments. Most MSA algorithms use dynamic programming and heuristic methods. So, let us move to heuristic methods. The various heuristic methods are 1. Progressive alignment construction 2. Iterative alignment construction 3. Block base alignment These methods can find solutions among all possible solutions, but they do not guarantee that the best solution will be found. Hence, they are considered as approximations, but we can easily find a solution close to the actual one within a short time. Let us see first progressive alignment construction. This method, also known as the hierarchical or tree method, was developed by Pauline Hogg-Uig and Ben Hasper in 1984. It builds up a final MSA by combining pairwise alignments, beginning with the most similar pair and progressing to the most distantly related pair. Two of the popular progressive alignment methods used at present are 1. Clustal Omega 2. Tea Coffee Here Clustal Omega method is taken as practical one, the other MSA tools will discuss shortly. Let us search different tools available for multiple sequence alignment. 1. Clustal Omega New MSA tool that uses seated guide trees and H, M, M profile profile techniques to generate alignments. Suitable for medium large alignments. 2. Emboss cons. Emboss cons creates a consensus sequence from a protein or nucleotide multiple alignment. 3. Colline. Very fast MSA tool that concentrates on local regions. Suitable for large alignments. The other MSA tools are 4. MOFT MSA tool that uses fast Fourier transforms. Suitable for medium to large alignments. 2. Muscle Accurate MSA tool, especially good with proteins. Suitable for medium alignments. 3. MU Transform a sequence similarity search result into a multiple sequence alignment or reformat a multiple sequence alignment using the MU program. The other two MSA tools are 1. Tea Coffee Consistency based MSA tool that attempts to mitigate the pitfalls of progressive alignment methods suitable for small alignments. 2. Web Prank. The EBI has a new phylogeny aware multiple sequence alignment program, which makes use of evolutionary information to help place insertions and deletions. Now, we get into the real world of MSA practical approach. I will guide you by step by step information to get MSA. First, you go to the Google search engine and search for https colon slash slash www.ncb.nlm.nih.gov slash. Select all database option from the download menu. Type any protein of your interest, say spike protein, it will give you literature, gene, proteins, genome, clinical and pub chem submenus. Click on protein under proteins 
submenu. You will get a long list, contain spike protein, in different species, varieties of organisms, say virus. Select all the organisms that contain spike protein. Save the protein sequence in FOSTA format, as I explained in my last bioinformatic lecture. Visit the YouTube link https colon slash slash u2 dot b slash a 8 u 19 t 0 dwcm save the file on desktop for later use after the multiple sequence file is created the next step is to find out a suitable multiple sequence alignment tool for that search the term multiple sequence alignment tools in google search from drop down items Select Clustal Omega, Multiple Sequence Alignment EMBL EBI. Click on Clustal Omega. It will open a new window of Multiple Sequence Alignment. You can see the alignment as shown here. You can use the file for various sturdies related with phylogeny. Then, click on Phylogeny option at Headline, you will get Phylogeny Tree. Interpret the tree and deduct appropriate conclusion. Using these data and their interpretation, you can prepare a research paper and publish in Good Journal of your interest.